Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming to this talk. I'm Wei Jia Li. I'm a postdoc researcher from the Chinese University of Hong Kong and Science Time Joint Lab. Today, I'm going to introduce our work about joint semantic geometric learning for polygonal building segmentation. Building footprint extraction from area or satellite images is an important and popular research topic in both remote sensing and computer vision domains. It is also a fundamental task for urban planning, disaster management, geographical information updating, and so on. Compared with pixel-wise segmentation models that output raster building segmentation map, the polygonal building segmentation approaches produce more realistic building polygons that are in the desirable vector format for practical applications. Motivated by this issue, many recent studies proposed polygonal segmentation approaches to produce vectorized segmentation results. Several studies proposed post-processing-based polygonization methods, which simplify the building segmentation results predicted from instance segmentation or semantic segmentation models. These post-processing-based methods not only require a complex processing procedure, but also a perfect segmentation map to ensure the quality of the polygonization re results. The other category of polygonal segmentation methods directly predicts the polygon vertex using deep neural networks. Several methods directly predict a polygon vertex at each time step using a CNRN architecture, such as the polygon RNN, polygon RNN++, and polymapper. These RNN-based methods usually achieve desirable prediction results for buildings with simple shapes. However, the sequential manner of the recurrent model limits its capability of correctly predicting vertices for complex buildings, producing vertices with wrong sequential order and self-intersections. Several other vertex-based methods predict an offset for each vertex simultaneously in a regression manner. The initial vertices are selected uniformly from an initialization with a fixed, fixed number of vertex, such as the curve GCN, or from a segmentation mask counter via a given distance, such as polytransform. These methods usually generate overabundant vertices for buildings with simple shapes and insufficient vertices for buildings with complex contour. In summary, state-of-the-art polygonal segmentation methods suffer from several limitations, such as relying on a perfect segmentation map to guarantee the vectorization quality, requiring a complex post-processing procedure, and generating inaccurate vertices with a fixed quantity, a wrong sequential order, and self-intersections. In this work, we propose a novel polygonal building segmentation approach to tackle the above limitations and make the following contributions. First, we design a multitask segmentation network for joint semantic and geometric learning via three, three different tasks. The pixel-wise building segmentation task, the multi-class corner prediction task, and the edge orientation prediction task. Next, uh, we propose a simple but effective vertex generation module for transforming the segmentation contour into valid polygon vertices. Third, we propose a polygon refinement network that automatically moves the polygon vertices into more accurate locations. Our approach consists of three main components. That is a multitask segmentation network, a vertex generation module, and a polygon refinement network. Taking a large-scale remote sensing image with multiple building instances as input, the multitask segmentation network is designed for joint semantic and geometric learning of three tasks, the building segmentation, multi-class corner prediction, and edge orientation prediction. 
Then the vertex generation module effectively converts the former three types of outputs into a set of valid vertices. The polygon refinement network takes the output vertices of the former component as the initial nodes of a graph and predicts a displacement for each vertex and produce the final bu building polygons with more accurate vertices. Next, I will introduce each of these components in detail. In our multitask segmentation network, we first introduce the representation of the two additional supervision types. For multi-class corners, if the interior angle of a vertex is smaller than 180, then it will be defined as the convex corner type. Otherwise, it will be defined as the concave corner type. The pixels that are not on the, the polygon vertices will be defined as the background type. For the, for the edge orientation, the orientation type of pixels on the building edges that are obtained via this are uh, obtained discretizing the orientation angle of the edge in of the edge into a class. The orientation types of pixels at the building corners are randomly assigned with the one of its neighborhood its neighbor pixel of an of an edge. For each pixels, for each pixel that are not that is not on any edges or corners. The orientation type is defined as zero. Our multitask network is based on the ResUNet architecture, which has achieved promising performance in many building segmentation challenges and studies. The three tasks are all formulated as pixel-wise classific classification issues that are trained jointly with the cross-entropy loss. The total loss of the three tasks can be summarized as this formula. Next, we introduce the vertex generation module. For each predicted building instance, the building segmentation map is converted to a mask contour with a width of 1 pixel. Each pixel on the mask contour is extracted via dense sampling in an anti-clockwise order constituting an, the initial vertex set. We design a corner criterion and an edge orientation criterion to select the valid vertices from the initial vertex set. For the corner criterion, vertices with, the, with a corner prediction probability smaller than a user-defined threshold are removed from the initial vertex candidates and each group of adjacent vertices will be further converted into one valid vertex. For the edge orientation criterion, we calculate the absolute difference of the orientation angle between two neighboring vertices for each initial vertex candidate. The vertices which with an absolute difference greater than a user-defined threshold are selected as the valid vertices. Finally, the valid vertices selected from the corner, corner criterion and the edge orientation criterion are combined into a union vertex set. Each group of adjacent vertices are further merged into one vertex, constituting the final output of the vertex generation module. Next, we introduce the poly polygon refinement network. The polygon refinement network takes the output vertices of the former component as the initial nodes of a graph. The refinement stage consists of four main components, the, back, the backbone, the vertex embedding, the propagation model, and the coordinate transforming. We use the ResNet backbone as an encoder for extracting features from the input image that is cropped by a by single building instance, producing feature map that will be further used for vertex embedding. The, vertex, vertex, the valid vertices obtained from the vertex generation module are transformed accordingly for vertex embedding on the final feature map of the backbone. 
Each vertex is assigned with the features extracted from the channel direction. The GGNN-based propagation model is able to utilize the, the extra information such as the feature of each node and their relations, which is designed to learn the relative displacement between a predicted valid vertex and its nearest ground truth vertex. Finally, the predicted displacement class classes are converted into the displacement coordinates and added to the corresponding vertex coordinates of the vertex generation module to obtain the final building polygons. Our method is evaluated on two popular building datasets. The first is Crowd AI Mapping Challenge dataset, which includes around 3 million buildings. The second is the Vegas dataset collected from the SpaceNet building dataset, including around 108,000 buildings. Here we show some examples of the polygonal building segmentation results obtained from our method. We can find that our method produces vector output with accurate vertices and edges, even for buildings with complex shapes. We compare our method with several recent segmentation approaches, including pixel-wise segmentation methods and polygonal building segmentation methods. For building segmentation results, our method obtain, obtains the highest precision and F1 scores, and the second highest recall among six methods. The superiority of our method is more remarkable when the LU's ratio is high, indicating that indicating the more precise polygon prediction results of our method. The, dec the decrease in recall compared with ASIP method is partly due to the failure cases on small buildings. We further compare the vertex prediction scores of our method with the current state-of-the-art method, that is, the ASIP method. Our method significantly outputs outperforms ASIP on vertex prediction scores, achieving an F1, F1 score gain of over 8 percentage. We also provide a qualitative comparison of ASIP and our method. The top figures show the results of ASIP and the, top, and the bottom figures show the results of our method. We can find that the building polygons predicted by our method have more accurate vertices in terms of locations, colored, colored quantities, and angles. We further show some typical examples of the failure cases of our method. Our method has difficulties in producing accurate polygons for buildings that are seriously sheltered by trees, the buildings with multiple extremely short edges, and high-rise buildings with serious parallax effect. These issues should be explored and solved in our future work. In our ablation study, we list the vertex prediction stars, scores of Vegas dataset obtained from the multitask segmentation stage, which is denoted by baseline and the vertex generation module and the polygon refinement network. Here we show an example of the qualitative comparison of the predictions, prediction results at different stages. We also demonstrate the visualized outputs of our segment, multitask segmentation network in the first row of the figure. Results show that the vertex generation module produces much more accurate, much better vertex prediction scores, predictions results compared with the baseline. We are effectively utilizing the corner and the edge orientation predictions to filter out the valid invalid vertices and remain the valid vertices with accurate quantity. The polygon refinement network further improves the vertex prediction F1 scores by ad adjusting the vertex into more accurate locations. In summary, 
we have presented a novel building segmentation approach that is capable of producing vector building polygons from remote sensing images. Qualitative and quantitative evaluations on two popular building segmentation datasets demonstrate that our proposed approach achieves significant improvements over state-of-the-art methods. The effect of the effect of each component of our map approach is also verified in the ablation study. We believe that this paper motivated novel ideas for predicting vectorized object representations and provided effective solutions for practical applications in geographic in geographic information systems. In our future work, we would like to explore novel methods for more complex application scenarios, such as producing the vectorized roof and footprint polygons for high-rise and dense buildings. That's all about our work. Thanks for your listening.